Hi everybody, lovely to speak to you this week. My thought is inspired by two new additions to our household. Don't worry, they are bubbled with us and it's all fine. Actually, they're guinea pigs. Uh, Willow and Ivy have been with us for six weeks. They're Catherine's guinea pigs. We should have got them last year, but I can't remember what happened to the shops last year. Don't know why they weren't open for a while. But hey, we've got them now. Anyway, my inspiration comes because at the weekend just gone, uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth and I were doing a few jobs around the house, sorting stuff out of the garden, just kind of doing bits and pieces. When all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I saw this little thing, this little ginger and black thing, scurrying across the garden. And it was Ivy. She'd broken free from her run. She'd managed to find the weakest point in the, in the, in the run and push herself out and she was off. So I slowly crept up towards her as if to not chase her around the garden because that would have just been too funny. Uh, picked her up, put her back in the run, worked out where the, the bit, where she got out and managed to put something in its place to stop her and stop either Willow or Ivy getting out. Uh, at this point of course I'm just thinking uh, that they wanted to break free and when I thought about that I wanted to break into song uh, and to quote Freddie Mercury, I want to break free I want to break free. Uh, I'm not going to sing the rest of it, even though obviously it would be a masterpiece. Uh, probably for YouTube copyright infringement purposes, they'd probably kick me off. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, so I put them back in and they're fine. I wonder if for some of us, we feel a bit penned in. We feel like we're a bit, a bit stuck in the kind of run and we've only had so many places to go. The restrictions have taken their toll on our physical, mental, spiritual and emotional well-being. We feel a bit like we just want to break free from where we are. And that's going to happen over the next few weeks and months. But more deeply than that, maybe there's things in your life which are holding you back from being all that you can be for God being all that God wants you to be. Maybe there are things in your past that still weigh heavily on your heart and you've never really dealt with them. Maybe there are things that you've done that you still carry around the kind of guilt of those things and you just can't let go because you're too fearful. Maybe there's things that you've experienced over this past year which have just left you feeling a bit numb and just feeling a bit hurt. Whatever those things may be that are holding you back from being all that God wants you to be, I encourage you today to listen, to seek after God and to break free from those things. They don't define you. Yes, they are your experience and yes, they are significant, but they don't define who you are now and who you can be in the future. Jesus came to give life and life in all its fullness. Every aspect of our life can be a blessing to us and to be a blessing to others. Jesus didn't just come to give us a little bit of, a little bit of good stuff, a little bit of happiness. He came to bring us joy. He came to give us a full life, no half measures. In Galatians, Paul speaks about how the Holy Spirit, when, it ministers, when he ministers to us, breaks us free from those things that have had an impact on us in the past. And he also speaks in 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 5, sorry, 1, 2 Corinthians 5, about being a new creation. That when we break free from the old, we are made in new because we are made in God. So whatever is going to be going on in your life, whatever those things that have been holding you back or holding you down, today is an opportunity to break free and live in the knowledge that God loves you, to live in the knowledge that he wants you to be joyful and to live in the knowledge that you can be free from those things today and in the days to come. To help you do this, I just want to give you three kind of ways that you could do this and 
you know, you can do what's most helpful for you, of course. But maybe you want to uh, use the scriptures that I've mentioned. They'll be in the, the notes on the YouTube clip uh, there for you. You could use those scriptures, read them and meditate upon them and pray that God will speak to you through them. Maybe you need to speak to someone about what is holding you back, what you need to break free from today. Share that with someone. Lift that burden from you and allow them to pray for you and minister to you. And maybe you might want to write a letter. I write a letter to God saying, God, this is what's been going on in my life. Even though we know he's aware of it, it may be helpful for you to see it there in writing. And then give it to God. Give it to him and allow him to speak back to you in that situation. Whatever it is, may you find freedom today and may you break free from that which has held you before and live in the knowledge that God has a full life in store for you now and forevermore. May God bless you, each one, as you break free.